guys. Do corporate level games, viruses, and supervisors got you so worked up that you want to log into Facebook and post derogatory comments in relation to your supervisor? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if that's your general feeling out there this morning, I definitely can't say as I blame you, but I definitely don't recommend doing that on Facebook. Nice to see you this Thursday, November 11th, 2010. Waking up in America, baby. Happy Veterans Day to all who have served, to all that are serving now. It's awesome. Love what you're doing. Keep up the fantastic work because America continues to be the greatest country the planet Earth has ever known and ever will know. Can't stay on here too long today. Just want to have a couple of sips with you on Kathy with Jaffrey. <sighs> Got Cotton on the set today saying, hey, hey, what's happening out there, America? Got uh, Houdini running around here someplace going crazy. Definitely just want to drop in, see how you guys are doing. It lets you know that we all want you to have the best day of all time. Get yourself pumped up. Get out there. Do and be better than ever. And have the greatest day of all time. Peace. I'm out. The airplane we're unveiling today represents a major addition to our foundation of strength. I christen the eagle and may you reign supreme in your domain. Yeah, yeah. January the 17th, 1991, hundreds of coalition aircraft took to the skies and headed for their targets. Operation Desert Storm had begun. British RAF pilots in low-flying tornado aircraft carried bombs designed to crater Iraqi runways. The Americans' first target was Iraq's capital. From the rooftops of Baghdad, 3,000 anti-aircraft guns fired into the night. Flying straight into this wall of fire were eight American bombers. They were so sophisticated that the Saudis had nicknamed them ghosts.
The F-117 stealth bomber was designed to be invisible to radar. But this was its first test in major combat. The stealth's first target was the main communications tower in Baghdad. At exactly 3 a.m., the pilot in the lead aircraft pushed the button and a 2,000-pound laser-guided bomb descended on its target. Across the city, the ground shook as 14 more bombs from other stealths hit their targets. The aircraft turned for home. Cruise missiles launched from US warships knocked out the power stations. Thank <laughs> you.